Hi, plant friends. Welcome back to the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Bloom and Grow YouTube show. Okay, plant friends, we are in for a total treat because I am here with some very special people from Metrolina Greenhouses. They are actually the growers who supply a lot of the big box stores and nurseries that we buy our plants from. So I am here with Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark, you want to tell us what you do for Metrolina? I'm the director of research here. The director of research and Mariah Holland, who is the director of marketing, and they are going to give us a behind the scenes tour of what goes on here. So we are standing actually at the crossroads of their, what this is called, this gorgeous <laughs> area, which is called the test garden. Yep. Yes. The test garden and behind us, you can see the actual indoor greenhouse where everything is grown. So what I'd love to know is a little bit of the history of Metrolina and how it became this enormous operation that it is today. All right, um, so Tom and Vicki Van Wingerden, they came over from Holland mm -hmm. in 1971 and started a greenhouse, um, moved to the Charlotte area and wanted to start a greenhouse. And okay. their goal was to be 10 acres. Um, and now today we're 167 <laughs> acres under glass. And um, so we've just grown over the year. So just um, added on as we've um, added customers and demand has, has um, been up for plants. That's wild. And you yeah. said that they came over here with like fifty dollars, and yeah. they've built it into this incredible greenhouse that serves all the plant people of America. Yeah, <laughs> they came like. over with fifty dollars and two kids, and now they and then they had six kids, mm -hmm. and we have um, all six are still involved in the business. So Abe and Art are our CEOs. Wow. And um, and then the brothers, they're uh, our VP of operations, and then logistics. So, wow, so it's um, like still, still entirely... very, yeah, still very family owned and um, day to, and they're very involved in the day to day. That's amazing. Something yeah. that I feel like I recently realized when I was meeting a lot of growers at Cultivate was there are so many family owned greenhouses and mm -hmm. the families take such pride in the generation to generation and the steady growth of it. Yes. And um, there's just such heart behind these plants that we buy that I kind of had no idea about. Yeah, it's amazing just the, to see what all goes in, you know, behind it. So mm -hmm. Dr. Mark will take us through the trial garden, but yeah. to meet our growers too and know that um, you know, you have to love it to work here and you have to love it to work in the industry. Mm -hmm. We work hard and um, so our passion really fuels what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. I love that. So where are we, Dr. Mark? Will you tell us a little bit about this um, um, unbelievable <laughs> garden that I want to spend every day in? <laughs> so this trial garden um, was actually started probably like 30 years ago. It, um, originally it started like 10 plants along the driveway and it's kind of grown to Right now, I think we have about 2,400 plants out here. Mm -hmm. So every year, we go out to all the different plant breeders and we say, hey, send us your latest and greatest new stuff. And we put it out here and we see how it does under our conditions. We we're able to propagate plants from two sources, from seeds or from cuttings. Okay. Lots of house plants are from cuttings, but right now we're in our seed vault. Okay. And, and at it's any, so cold it's in here. It's very nice. Very nice and cold in here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and at any given point, we can have two to three million dollars worth of seeds just right in here. So it's pretty cool. Oh my God. Seeds range in size from itty bitty right. to, um, you know, much larger, like a sunflower like a sunflower, seed. yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know if, Mark, you have any examples. Can we go in yeah. to the million dollar ball? <laughs> Each seed is 10 cents. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. <laughs> so, those might be like three cents. Tuck it back, tuck it back. Don't trust me with anything expensive. Okay. So these are looking at Okay. So we'll plant these. Five weeks later, they'll be ready to plant in the bigger pot. Mm -hmm. And then maybe five to six weeks later, we'll be able to ship them to the consumers. Wow. We'll be able to plant them in the fall and then enjoy them until the next year. Okay. Well, not in New Jersey. Yeah, and Mark, what's the difference in the seeds? So some of the seeds are so, so tiny. Mm -hmm. they, um, some of these puddings are... Um, the one I know they use uh, the same coating used for MMs. Okay. They use that to coat the outside of the seed. Just to make it bigger? Yeah, so, so that's it's, the only reason. And then you can see it better and it's easier to oh. put it on out. So then when you plant it, the outer coating just kind of like yep, melts outside. away with the first wash. Because yep. I noticed I 
planted, I think so. Uh-oh, I dropped. Oh, no, I so <laughs> um, I remember, I remember seeing that, and they were, like, pink, and they looked candy-coated, my strawberries. Yes, yeah. And I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, so how we can do better. Yeah. Um, so from the seeds, what we do is we take trays, and we'll run this through. Unfortunately, it's not running today, but that will get filled with soil. Okay. And then it goes... All the way through. So this is entirely automated. So the machine puts all of the seeds in those little. See, I, like this looks like it's perfectly yep. organ. It perfectly matches that crate that starts it, yep. off. Yep. So the yeah. tray. Oh yeah. So this tray. And so does this like pack the tray it, it in? It puts a little dibble so the seed goes so towards the, seed the middle. Goes in. And how many seeds go in each little guy? Um, one to two and to the three. And the machine is specialized enough that it mm -hmm. can actually suck up only two yeah, seeds. You can't even see it, but there's like little tiny holes there. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Like seeds in. Mm -hmm. This is incredible technology. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So a lot of plants we cultivate from little cuttings. Okay. So these plants started in Florida. Okay. Probably, um, maybe Monday. Someone took a cutting, shipped them up to us. So all you have to do is how much is this worth? 30 cents. <laughs> 30 cents, just this little guy. Okay, ready? <laughs> You're so calm. This is stressful. Oh my God, we did it. Okay, so we're standing by Dr. Mark's Pride and Joy, the big pile of dirt. So, so tell us about this dirt. So this started at a sawmill up the, about probably 20 minutes away. And this used to be just like a waste stream. You know, they would either like burn this or throw it away. Okay. We're able to take this now and use it in our potting mix. So we mix, um, this is like sawdust, we mix it with peat moss and add a little bit of fertilizer. And it's good to grow, to grow all the millions of plants you've seen here. And the peat moss is all sustainably harvested from Canada, right? Yep. Yeah, they harvest it up from Canada. They only take a little bit, like a quarter inch every year. Wow. And then bring it down here and there's like more growing as fast as they're taking it. Okay. So. So we take, and is that just just th those three components are what yep. you grow everything yep. in? Wow, That's so it. sawdust, peat moss, and what was the third? Um, we do use some perlite for propagation. Perlite. Okay, so Dr. Mark, how many poinsettias, is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I've heard it pronounced both okay. ways. Okay, great, yeah. so you decide, plant friends. But um, how many do you guys grow and sell in the holiday season? So we sell about two million poinsettias every year. That's crazy, and how many varieties? Uh, probably, I think we're up to about five. five a lot of red. A lot of red right. is most popular, and okay. then white is the next one. Okay, so we are in this entire greenhouse is all poinsettia poinsettias, and show us um, how like the lifespan of one. So you so, pulled one from over there. So these plants we just stuck um, Here, can I hold probably this? Um, two days ago. So no roots. Four weeks later. They'll be yeah, rooted out. You Ooh, can see all the roots. Four weeks later. That's a really quick. And then this plant, stage. we've already put a pinch on it, so it okay. grew up to here. And then we t put a pinch, so it'll start branching. Okay. And then. And then. Starts looking like that. How long does it take to get like this? So probably after Thanksgiving, this thing will be about this tall, full of blooms, bright red plant. And Ready so to go. is this thing three of these? One, yep, two, three? Absolutely. Okay, so it'll keep growing. And do you keep, keep pinching it back? As we it just grows? actually, we only have to do the one pinch. Okay. It's pretty cool. And then, as you notice, this is still green. So when do they turn that famous holiday red that we see? So in um, North Carolina, it's like September 20th is when mm -hmm. the day lengths get short enough. Okay. And then it starts going from a green plant to a red plant. Very cool. And so the whole life cycle starts, I mean, it's August right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> so August through November yeah, for so, starting to sell so like June, Yeah, June wow. to November. It's a lot of heart plant mm -hmm. friends. It's a lot of time and heart and science into it. Very cool. Look at these adorable little robo gardeners everywhere. Do you see? Look how cute he is. Hello, my little gardener friend. So. <laughs> Look at him go, that's adorable. So Dr. Mark, what are these guys doing? So we want the plants to be nice and round. So we start them up really close together so they get started. And then when we're ready to finish them, we put them in these wider spacings. Okay. So these things will grow and fill that whole space. If you go in too tight, they'll be squares. So we want nice, beautiful, round plants. 
So the robots are actually placing them so in someone the does perfect, have... In the perfect uh, dimensions. So Mariah, I feel like sometimes with these robots and with the idea of automating gardening, people, it's coming for you, be yeah. careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, so what's the intention with bringing, oh my God. We're, gonna, yeah, we're gonna get taken out. <laughs> you wanna do this dog down there? Oh my God. <laughs> he's eating, he's he trying to get yes. you. you know he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come back. Okay, we'll do it back. Okay, let's see, that was hilarious. So, you're automating parts of the system here. Now, what are you trying to automate? Because people could argue that you're taking jobs away from people. Yes, and yeah. that is not what we're trying to do. Uh -huh. Our goal in automation is to um, automate the jobs that are less appealing for people. So, it's very difficult to bend over and space these accurately and precisely. Uh -huh. So, that is our goal. Is to, um, I couldn't stand here in the sun. It's no. a hundred degrees yes, right now. The sun and then to bend yeah. over and so you're yeah. eliminating the work yes. that humans shouldn't be doing. That people don't want creating to do. more jobs for yes. humans that Absolutely. they should be doing. Alright, cool. I'm into that. I'm into yeah. these robots. So this might not seem like a very uh, visually wonderful place for us to be standing here, but I'd love for you to tell us why this pile of plastic is so important to Metrolina. Yes, so we are um, Really, we really care about the earth and saving plastic from, from um, waste mm -hmm. land. So over the last five years, we've launched a recycling initiative and have recycled over 12 million pounds of plastic through Amazing. reuse or recycling. So we've teamed up with recyclers that will take this back and they'll, um, they'll clean it and use it in uh, hangers mm -hmm. oftentimes. Um, and our goal is to do a whole closed loop recycling so that they do turn it back into pots. And you were saying that consumers can actually bring the pots back yes. or that the people, uh, the big box stores you sell to can actually return the pots back to you and you will continue recycling yep. them or using Absolutely. them again. Absolutely. So um, any of your pots, any of the trays that come back, um, you know, that's what we reuse and then the pots we will, um, that's what we send off to recycling. That's so cool. So you're recycling plastic, you're conserving water, yeah. and energy as well? Energy, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Mark and Mariah, for giving us an unbelievable behind the scenes treat and tour of Metrolina. So if we are interested in buying some plants from you guys, where should we find your plants? Yeah, so you can find our plants at um, Lowe's, Home Depot, and Walmart all okay. across the East Coast. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, and Walmart on the East Coast. Yeah. And if you guys are interested in learning more about Metrolina Greenhouse and the amazing operation they've got going on here in North Carolina, you can check it, the links in the show notes. So until next time, plant friends, keep, keep blooming, blooming and, and keep, keep growing. growing. Hey, plant friends, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe below. Also, check out my podcast, Bloom and Grow Radio, with houseplant care tips and really interesting interviews with plant people all over the world. And follow me on Instagram. All of the links are in the show description below. Keep blooming and keep growing. Bloom and grow.